Hello and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to basically uh, take a challenge, or challenge a question I've got uh, on a case that I recently solved on the channel, which is the Lumber Lumberjack one. Uh, that if you already watched the video, is basically the case uh, that provides you this kind of map of trees that you need to cut and basically uh, process in order to get a profit by selling them and having some sort of costs uh, in order to, to cut them and manage the, the whole process. Uh, at some point in the game you are asked to uh, basically calculate the cost also based on the distance that those trees have uh, with respect to the basically road that you see here in, uh, uh, in brown in the map. Uh, and what I did basically in the um, in the in the walkthrough of the of the solution is to use the uh, standard approach to to calculate the distances uh, at least standard in the um, industry of uh, Excel <laughs> esports, uh, which basically um, is based on the uh, iterative calculation. So basically, you are building a circular reference to to calculate the distances, and what you basically do is saying that for each specific cell, the distance um, is one plus the minimum of every possible cell that is uh, surrounding that uh, specific cell. Uh, you enable literary calculation and basically that's it. So you assign zero to the road if you are interested in seeing which is the minimum distance from the road and then the uh, iteration does the, does the magic. Uh, this is, let me say, a quick way to do that, but for sure you know, you know to you need to know it before uh, beforehand. Otherwise, uh, it will take probably too long in order to uh, think of this approach and do it correctly during the competition. Um, what I would like to try to do is to maybe have another approach, which is uh, basically calculating the distance uh, from point A to point B in the standard way. So, uh, for example, if we take uh, this point in the map and maybe this point in the map, uh, we can say that the minimum distance is, since you're not able to go diagonally, uh, basically the distance in columns plus the distance in rows. So in this case, it will be 1 and 2, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4. So basically, the distance from this point will be 6. And if we go and double check for cell E8, uh, in this case, the distance is actually 4 because uh, we are taking the minimum distance. And the minimum distance needs to be computed against this point here in the map, where, of course, there is no vertical distance but just horizontal one. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So um, let me say not. Uh, uh, a good example, if we take this one, for example, which is G10, it should be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's see, uh, G10, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's exactly 4. So, okay, having said that, uh, what can we do um, is build a formula which calculates the distance uh, against two points, uh, but in order to find the minimum one, I will basically need to calculate the distance of any given point against all the points on the road, so the, all the brown points, taking advantage of the array formula and then select the minimum of those distances. Uh, to do that quickly, I will need uh, some sort of uh, mapping of the uh, entire cells of the road, so that will be uh, ideally I would like to have them in a column, so what I will do is to basically build the address like this. So column, relative reference, uh, populate the entire row, sorry, the entire road. Like this. Okay, <clears throat> now I could manually select those, but let's try to be a little bit more smart in the approach. So if I do this, of course, I'm taking everything. I would like to filter out the trees, but I'm not sure the filter can handle the uh, not equal to uh, condition. So what I could do is to have the right of this, because if this is numeric, uh, it will be basically the road itself. And what if I filter this based on 
uh, not is error number value of this okay this is working so this is the uh, data set for the road and let's call this road uh, fantastic now what I could do is to take for example a reference let's say a1 and build this let formula uh, so uh, the my point will be a1 um, <coughs> I would like to uh, to basically calculate um, the column and the row of this uh, uh, of this cell. So point call will be uh, left of point, and that's it. And point row will be a substitute of point substituting um, substituting my point call with nothing let's see let's check this is working okay so it will be one uh, at this point the distance in column will be the absolute value of um basically the code of point call minus um the code uh, of left of road if this works let's try Okay, not sure why this is not. Uh, that's interesting. Why am I? Okay, I don't know what is this actually. But yes, it should be right because A1 has a distance 8 from I1. For example, say H1. Yes. Okay. Uh, and basically, the distance in a row will be the absolute value of what? Of my point row minus, uh, I will need the row of each single row cell. So it will be the substitute of. Uh, road with the old text being the left of road and nothing and that's it yes so I have a distance zero in the rows between a1 and i1 for the, which is the first uh, cell of the road and then basically I'm done because uh, what I need to say is that the final distance is the minimum of the distance in column plus the distance in rows because I need to have them uh, jointly for each potential cell of the road. Uh, <coughs> and that's it, I will say. So A1 tells me a distance of 8. <coughs> which is right um, H12 <coughs> is 5 yeah let's check uh, T21 should be 7 <coughs> and that's correct apologies for this but not feeling very well so this might be a different approach to, to do this. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this approach. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching this video. Bye.